Hello everyone. We're here with the charger today because I am finally going to do something about this exhaust leak that I've had for uh, quite a while. Um, I got some two and a half inch flanges, but uh, I think I may have gotten the wrong ones. Um, I probably need the ones that have the slot in it instead of just the straight hole in it. So I need to get this exhaust off and then try to make these up to the flange and see if the bolts can actually go in all the way because I'm not sure. So uh, not gonna have any speedy footage underneath of me getting the uh, exhaust off. I'm just gonna just take it off. At this point, I wanna just get it done, but still wanna document it for you. So uh, let's, get the, let's get this exhaust off and try to set it right here for you. Well, I got it off. Flange on the motor looks okay. And this is a two and a half inch flange. Get this lined up. That is not two and a half inch pipe. That is probably two and a quarter. This is supposed to be two and a half going all the way up to the motor because this is a two and a half inch um, uh, uh, Y pipe. And that's a two and a half inch in. This is supposed to be two and a half going all the way and it looks like they have uh, the shop I took it. Looks like they made it smaller. So this is the old piece that was on here when the 383 was in the car. I just uh, did a fit up and it looks like it will still bolt right up with the 440. It's still really close about right there to the torsion bars. And this is the driver's side because I did mark them. Can't find the passenger side actually. Kind of hard to see my uh, mar my Sharpie right there, but see the driver's side. And it looks like I might be able to uh, cut the exhaust right there. Hang on. There you go. Uh, looks like I may be able to cut the exhaust right there and just butt it up in and then weld it. So what I may have to do is just go ahead and see if I can install this and then because I know this because I know this sealed because this is part of the old system that is actually two and a half it's kind of bent a little bit to uh, accommodate some room but uh, it fit it didn't hit so I'm gonna go ahead and install this and then uh, I really hate to do it but I'm thinking of cutting it. I need to mark it before I put this on. So I'm thinking about cutting it and then button it up. Actually, I probably need to cut it right at that seam. Cut it right at that seam and then just uh, install this part. Kind of shove it up in there and then see if I can weld the bottom side and then take it back off and then uh, get it. This is not the kind of fix I was thinking it was going to be, but it should work. Something I was just thinking about, if I installed this, this, all the way to here, that would make this side all two and a half and the other side still two and a quarter going into two and a half. I can't do that. So, I'm going to get out of the car. Make sure this matches the uh, holes in the manifold. And if it does, I'm gonna cut this flange off as e as uh, much as uh, uh, and keep out, I'll keep as much of that pipe as I can, and uh, reweld it right there. Reweld that. Reweld this this flange right here on the pipe, and then eventually redo the exhaust from the motor to the mufflers with redoing the uh, wall pipe connection. So I'm gonna keep the uh, double duels on it right now and uh, hopefully see if I can get this flange cut off. I'm not gonna be doing it today. Uh, I can actually try. Uh, I'm gonna, gonna see if I can use my plasma cutter to uh, 
try to cut this flange off and uh, hopefully keeping a lot of the pipe here but we'll see so not really gonna set up the camera because I just really want to get this done and I don't I don't I don't I don't know what it's gonna uh, have me doing with it so I'm gonna see what happens and get back to you in a minute all right we are back I've uh, it's been a few days and I've gotten some stuff done so uh, let's check it out I went ahead and decided tried to uh, I tried to use my plasma cutter to cut the to cut just this flange off and no, and none of the pipe, but it was not really working. So I went ahead and just cut. I was able to uh, with my uh, sawzall was able to cut all the uh, just right at the weld off. And this is my new exhaust flange because I'm losing a little bit of pipe after cutting that off. I doubled up on my flange and welded on the outside and on the inside so I wouldn't have any leaks around the bolt holes. And with it welded on the inside, it actually creates a really nice little shelf for the pipe to sit on. So when I put this back up in there and have this on the motor, all I gotta do is use a jack to push the pipe up to the flange and then I'll tack it in place in several places and then take it off and then weld it. So hopefully this will solve the problem. I don't like doing exhaust work but uh, looks like this is going to work so uh, let's get to it. Alright got the exhaust back tent back on and uh supported with my scissor jack out of my ram and it looks like it's going to be mating up very nicely may have to build up a little bit of see if i can see it may have to build up a little bit of weld on this side but it looks good i just need to tack it in place and uh get it back off and fully weld it so Let's get to it. All right, the flange is on there. I do have to build up weld in a, a few places, so uh, uh, let's get this thing welded. The uh, tack welds I did while it was still while it was on the car are uh, definitely definitely not pretty. But I uh, was able to get some better welds once I got it off the car, and I did decide to weld it inside the pipe since I had so much to fill. I didn't want to have uh, big huge globs out here, so I just filled it up on the inside. I don't think I'm gonna have any leaks because I did kind of go out go around the outside and on the inside. At least that's what I'm hoping. I'm gonna look at it again, make sure I don't need to uh, tack up any spots on the inside before I do this, before I let it cool down and uh, install. And then, uh, fingers crossed, I won't have any more exhaust leaks. Okay, I got everything reconnected. Everything's tightened up. So it's a moment of truth. Let's try it. Cold natured. Very cold natured.
I'm gonna let it run and uh, get up under, check for leaks, but I don't think I have any leaks. Well, it looks like I do still have a little bit of an exhaust leak. Um, since I did get two gaskets, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna try to double up on the gasket and then uh, use my impact to actually, uh, actually cinch that down. So um, I've been letting it run for a little bit because I've, uh, I've missed this uh, exhaust without the exhaust leak. <laughs> So I need to let it cool down, then I'm going to put that other gasket in and uh, really cinch it down really good. And um, fingers crossed that that's going to fix it. So uh, it's already miles better than what it was. So even if adding that other gasket doesn't fix it completely, which I'm pretty sure it will, um, should be okay. But uh, I probably warped the flange a little bit with as hot as I got those welds. So doubling up on the, it's only, it's only barely pushing out past the gasket. So uh, if I double it up, really cinch it down, should be okay. So uh, I'll see y'all a little bit later when this cools down and I can get those other, I can get that other gasket in. Well, doing the double gasket definitely fixed the leak so this charger officially does not have any more exhaust leaks so um got my mom here with me uh, it's been a while since since she's ridden in the car so uh we're gonna go for a little ride and enjoy no exhaust leaks so it's nice hearing the exhaust behind me and not in front of me
many years ago. But the original string that was on it actually broke. But I fixed it and put them, put them back in here.
competition at the at uh, the No Name Nationals in Sykeston, Missouri. Burnout competition. In honor of his father. Yep. <laughs> Well, there it is. There is the uh, exhaust leak finally fixed on my charger. It is running better. It is sounding good. I uh, think now, really, I just need to button up some leaks that I'm having, and then I'll pretty much be ready for for No Name Nationals come come September. So, uh, um, so happy this car is running good now. So, there it is. If you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.